Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the family. My name is Dineo. If you've been been supporting me, thank you for your continued support. If you haven't subscribed, honey, what are you waiting for though? <laughs> Please click on that subscribe button, like and share my video as well. Click on the notification bell so that you know when there's new content available for you to watch. So on today's video, we are doing a brow tutorial as promised. The past week so i thought let me keep my word i hope that the video is easy and clear enough for you to follow please let me know your thoughts in the comment section and yes let's get right into our tutorial The first item that we're going to go in with will be an essence brow soap you can use any other brow soap that you have um and we use a brow soap to to tame our brows so a brow soap is used to tame your brows so that it's easy for you to work with your brows i will be looking down here because my mirror is here but i'll try to hold it as high as possible We'll use the back pad of the brows just to I mean of the brush just to press down my brows to ensure that they are tamed I don't know if you can see that so you're literally pressing them down then I'll go ahead and brush the one on the left my left hand side brow it's easy to work with like it's so easy to work with when i brush it up it really does go but the one on the right it is super stubborn <laughs> i don't know if you guys experience the same problem but the one on the right hand side for me it's like cheeky you know stubborn doesn't want to be brushed in a certain way just wants to sit there in its little corner so um, basically just pressing my hands down can you see how that was so easy to do but this side I had to like literally brush a couple of times before it could be where I wanted to be and now that we're happy with how the brows are looking we're gonna go in with a it says essence brighten up banana powder but you can use any loose powder that you have um yeah i'm gonna be using a fluffy brush to apply it so if you have a translucent powder or any powder that you have literally that is loose you can use it i'm just gonna dab it on my brows this is literally to trap all the oils and i find that when i do this it's easy for me to follow up with a brow pencil or a brow gel when i draw my brows um yeah so that's what we are doing right now It's 
Can you guys see that? I'm using a brown pencil, but you can use any color that you feel comfortable with, whether black or brown. But for me, I like using brown because black becomes too dark for me. So that's what I'm doing. And when you draw your brows, this must be your reference point. Um, this part here should be where your brows start. So you measure with the inner part of your nose like that so from here going there that's that should be your starting point and if you close your eyes and you look down like that this mid part here uh that should be your arch but if you have powder on you literally have guidance on where to do your arch so when you close your eye like this this will be your reference point and where your brow should end this part here will be your reference point so the outer part of the eye going right there that should be your reference point yeah and i'll be using my pencil firstly go in as light-handed as possible because you can always build up you know you can always go back in with your pencil as opposed to having your brows too dark in the beginning and you're not sure what to do after that so that's what we're doing right now I'm gonna start right there can you guys see that Okay, and then now I'm gonna start here and Then Then You literally just filling in with your pencil where you see that there's a bit of brow hairs missing you don't want your brows to be too dark well i don't want my brows to be too dark if you share the same sentiments then this is what to do now we're gonna move over to the other side Now we will go in with a spoolie just to brush our brows so that they look as normal <laughs> as possible. So the reason why I don't like using pencil when I do my brows is because they become super thick, you know, um, that's why I don't like using pencil when I do my brows, but that's fine. Uh, we'll be using a flat brush and a concealer to clean up and the concealer that I'll be using, guys, <laughs> 
the previous video i think a video that i posted last week i did inform you that i don't like using this one like i do use it but i prefer my la gal so i literally squeezed the last bits of the product and i'll be using this flat brush here to clean up So the concealer, or rather to select a concealer, you want to go at least one shade or two shades lighter than your skin tone. So lighter than your foundation. And I'm just going to bring it down like so. Yeah. I think that's fine. that's how we look i am going to blend in with this fluffy brush like i said before you um i love blending from like outer part into the inside and into in um inner part into the inside as well to avoid product um going on the parts we have already applied makeup so if you have makeup on you want to try and do that because otherwise it becomes messy and you need to sort of clean up or fix your makeup something like that so i just like cleaning up or rather blending with or rather blending my concealer from outer corners inside inner corners inside that way i try to avoid um messy makeup
To clean up the upper part of my brows, I'm using my foundation. It's a Yardley Stay Fast Foundation, 24 hour wear, matte coverage, oil and shine control. It is in shade D4W. That's how it looks like. And to apply it, I'm using the very same flat brush I used to clean up the bottom part. I find that when I use my foundation, there is this seamless look as opposed to using a concealer um, to clean up my forehead area. And I will not be taking a lot of product. That's literally how much I'm going to need. I think these brows are cousins. I think so. I think they are cousins. <laughs> to blend in the forehead area, I'm using this brush right here. You can use a foundation brush or any fluffy brush that you have. And guys, we have come to the end of our tutorial. I hope that the video was clear enough and easy for you to follow. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And if you've watched until this far, thank you so much for your continuous support. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Like and share, engage. And yeah, till we meet again on my next video. Bye!